was yeah. ready. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Are we ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you don't forget to turn on your mic. Good afternoon. I'd like to call to order the March 20th, 2024 Advisory Committee for Complete Streets for the Town of Broughton. It is 341. Members present, Olson, Hendrickson, Granitoski. Also present, um, Mr. Berry from Parks and Rec, Ms. Jones from Planning and Development, and Mr. Hanover from Public Works. Uh, Mr. Uh, Town Manager, I'm sorry. Um, Hello. Ms. Mr. Kent cannot be with us. He advised the committee, and Ms. Berry is going to be jumping in on Zoom at some point during the meeting. Uh, we're on to item two communications. Uh, is there, do any of the members have new communications? The only item I have uh, was that I noted that the town managers issued the uh, the, the 2025 fiscal ending year uh, budget. Uh, uh, and there's three items uh, in the uh, um, budget, all in the capital improvement areas that talk about the complete streets and trails plans. Uh, and there's no, uh, none of them have any impact on the current, on, for fiscal year 25, they're all on uh, uh, future out year uh, funding uh, needs. And so there, I don't see any need for us to be uh, making any statements at the uh, public hearing next Wednesday. Thank you. Commissioner Hendrickson, any communications? Mm -hmm. Well, just that we talk. Um, I think I'm just trying to decide how to like bring up a new piece of information and if I should save that for a different meeting or if we could discuss it today. So what I would say is if you have something you'd like to discuss, given that the agenda is written this way, and, and I'd hate to do anything with Chairman Kent missing. Okay. So I would say if you have something you'd like to mention now, we can get it into the minutes. And okay. then when he returns, he can decide to put it on the agenda. And I think it, the simplest way would be just to keep this communications item here. And then if anybody has something they want to raise, we can raise it under that, uh, under item two. Perfect. And then Brian can do what he needs to with it. So do you want to? talk about anything in particular yeah i just i was looking over at the um glastonbury complete streets which um is a bit um from before now but they they kind of tied in like business plans as well so for their complete streets they had things about obviously pedestrian use sidewalks roadways and stuff but then there was stuff for businesses as well so shopping plazas and things like that having parking either in the rear or on the side and they had um things where businesses had to have their front facing towards the sidewalk to be more accessible to pedestrians and things like that. And I was wondering for this committee, if it would be possible to kind of work together with businesses, because I know like on Fort Hill, for example, there's a good amount of construction going on right now, which would feel awesome to tie in with that. And I'm just wondering if we could kind of build that together. No, that's great. And it, it'll be in the minute so Brian can decide, but okay, uh, Ms. Jones wanted to speak. Yeah, I just wanted to note that there are design guidelines, both for the downtown area okay. of Groton, as well as the Paquonic Bridge area that require exactly those things. Okay, so great. any new business would have to um, adhere to those. Okay, design great. Guidelines. That's, that's currently the case, or are we adding yes. that? Okay. Yes, nope, it is. Awesome. Thank you so much. Does staff have any communications they would like to share at this point or just move ahead with the agenda? Nope. Okay, so approval of minutes. I'll uh, accept a motion to approve the minutes of the February 21st meeting. I move we uh, <clears throat> approve the minutes with one correction to change the date from uh, um, February of 23 to February of 24. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approval of the minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? So moved unanimously. New business. Workshop with FHI Studios. We have Francisco Gomes and Roy Jacobson with us from FHI. Mr. Barry, should I turn it over to you to run this portion of the item? or uh, It's your sure. call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. You All made right. the arrangements for this, so right. go for it. Yeah. So <laughs> this is... I don't know, Francisco, do you want to talk about uh, the plans for the workshop, which is scheduled for our regular meeting, April, the next meeting, April, uh, I can't remember when it is. 17th, April 17th? Correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just hit on the highlights of that. Okay. And... Yeah. 
Um, so we are scoped to do what's called a focus group workshop. And uh, that workshop is intended to work directly with your committee and with any stakeholders that you identify should be in the room for that workshop. And we're, we're aiming for a group of no more than 20 or so people, so it doesn't get too unwieldy. The, the purpose of the workshop and what we'll spend most of our time on is to review uh, our findings from the work that we've done to date. And that is mostly comprised of doing a, a lot of mapping of the facilities that you have, um, bicycle routes and greenway routes that have been planned or proposed. Uh, and we really wanna lay out the map on the table and have it up on the screen as needed and go through that with you to get a better understanding of these facilities um, where they stand, what the needs are, which corridors or areas of town you feel uh, really need improvement from a pedestrian and bicyclist perspective. Uh, and it's so it's really intended to be a working session where we really focus on uh, specific corridors, streets, uh, gaps in the network, and areas that need attention. Um, I, I think we anticipate that will take an hour and a half at least. Um, I think that the room that you're meeting in now is probably a very suitable room for that. You have tables and plenty of chairs that we could arrange in kind of a, a workshop type format. So this is not so much a, us presenting at you, uh, it's more of us working with you to talk through these issues and to mark up a map and, and help give us some insight as to where the, the needs are in, in the work that's been accomplished uh, to date. Um, so we, we are looking to this committee and, and, and to Mark and other town staff uh, that, that can be, help us with this to identify other people that should be in the room for this and to invite them to it. And Francisco, these stakeholders are yeah. different than the five groups that we've kind of identified, correct? Or are we plucking some of those from each group, each focus group kind of category yeah. and inviting them in? The latter. I, I think it would be beneficial to have a person or two from each of those groups um, invited, realizing not everyone will be able to attend. Um, we're gonna be meeting with those groups individually as stakeholder groups. This meeting was really intended mostly for you, but it's an opportunity to have other people in, in the room that will really have something to share and contribute and can help in this process. Um, so we do want to keep it to a manageable size. Uh, if we get too big, it, it's going to be really difficult for everyone to have an opportunity to fully participate. We will, we are, as a reminder, we are scoped to do a much larger community workshop in, in a couple of months. That will be an opportunity for uh, everyone to participate at the same time for a much bigger group to do something very similar, uh, but with just a lot more people, in which case we'd probably have breakout tables and different people leading those. But this is really intended to be your first opportunity to work with us to guide us uh, so that when we meet with other groups and the larger community, uh, we we have direction from you first. Mark, and, and just for my own edification here, you did Brian already forward a list in as far as for the five different groups and who he was kind of participating? Did, is that up? Because I I saw him ask for that. My inputs, I provided that, but I don't know what right. went over to the contractor. Yeah, Francisco, help me out here. Have we have you received the proposed five different groups? I, I can't remember. We had some communication. We don't have any contacts or individuals or anything like that. Um, you know, I I, I do recall uh, Brian had sent over a list of potential groups that we can meet with, but that that's where things were left. And the invitations to those groups you would expect to come from us or would we provide you the contact information and then you reach yeah. out to them? 
If you can get us the contact information, we're happy to send out an invite. Okay. So my question was, um, is this taking place on the 17th at our meeting? Yes. Because I thought Brian had said he preferred to keep our meeting separate from any of these groups. Or am I mistaken on that? Well, I'm a little confused. Yeah, is this is this county as one of the right. five groups? Or no. is this no, to it's not counting yeah. as one of those, right. but I thought Brian said he right. wanted to keep the meetings well, originally, separate from this. Is yeah. that so? Originally, I think the goal was to try to have the workshop sooner, but we've pushed it off until April because Brian was going to be away. Okay. So we're just going to, the rest of the committee's fine with having it on the 17th instead of the regular meeting then. Well, I think well, the seventeenth is the next regular meeting, right? Yeah. But rather than the I'm not making myself clear, he had he had when I had asked about that originally, yeah. he said let's keep the regular meetings and do these things as separate things. That way, we can still keep to whatever other items. So, we like have. have the workshop in addition, right? To in addition to it. So, well, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't quite sure, but I agree. If we are pressed for time, let's go ahead with this. But then, if he wants to do other things, then call right. special yeah, meeting I, or something. To be honest with you, I don't see anything stacking up in our of other things we have to do so i don't have a problem with right. and, and if we have to have five minutes of a regular meeting do something right. then we can go right in the workshop yeah and i i would agree with that yeah okay. i feel like this seems like what would get our ball, ball rolling the most right. yeah yeah and i think the thought was do the workshop when we're we all know we're available or yeah. we're right. all committed to being yeah. yeah. rather than the 17th and then another meeting the yeah. Like first yeah. yeah another you know an hour and a half to another two hours yeah yeah i agree okay good so for for the invitation do i correctly understand that it would be for 3 30 and in the room that you're meeting in now that's correct. Okay. And what, what is the name of that room? The Go look at it. Town Hall so Annex Community, community room, room 2. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Community Room 2. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you. And it's typically not booked. I mean, if it runs. It is booked for this group. No, but I mean. If, oh, if it's it's like 430, but right, that after right. that, is there any. So on a, on, I mean, they said it no. may go an extra half an hour to an hour. No, no. no. Okay. Third Wednesdays. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so and, we should be all set. Okay. And if you did want to reserve some time at the beginning of that slot you know, at 3.30 to, to cover usual business, uh, say from 3.30, 3.45 or 4 o'clock, we could invite people at 3.45 or 4 o'clock. As of right now, I would go yeah. for 3.30. I think we're fine with 3.30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, we're... Thank you. Very good. All right. So you'll get us a list of individuals that we should invite. Um, I think it's best that we had that list of names and email addresses by the end of this month so we could send invitations at least two weeks in advance. Okay. All right. I don't know what the guy is there anything else, Mark, that you need to talk to him about or talk to Mr. Jacob Ms. Jacobson or Mr. Gomes about? I'm sorry. I don't they're I'm pretty clear <laughs> on what I need to do. I don't know if the rest of the committee I just I as far as when you're dealing with these people, who else is, are, who are the other people that would normally be coming to this, this first workshop when he, when he says other interested parties, I mean, uh, so I'm a little struggling with who else would be, who would be thinking of coming to this. Well, that are I, not part of the other, you know, I, I hate to be taking people's time to have them come to this and then uh, they right. to be at a work at one of the five other workshops. Right. Can I ask yeah, if you already I identified the people for the other five focus groups? Yeah, there's kind of like five different but we groups do know people. Those people already? I mean, you know you know yeah, who the yeah. groups are, but right. do we know the individuals that are categorized into that group is what I think you're asking? Yeah. 
do we have a list of names for like business community yeah. or this? Oh. Okay. Okay. So we would have to identify that before we decide who we're sending invites to. Yeah. So if we were reaching out to the business community, it'd probably be Bruce Flaps. And if Bruce couldn't make it, some someone from his staff. So do you and need brought an open space? So that would be Dan O'Connell or Tri Town Trails. Uh is that you, John? No, or, or B Reynolds. Or B, yeah. And then there's Avalonia, which would be are those the groups that have been identified? That's what yeah. I, and I don't think we right. Okay. We didn't I don't do think that. We know the no, groups. I know. Yeah. We were so supposed you, to provide all that. Through Ryan, those? And I don't think and yeah. he hasn't shared it as far as I can. Yeah. Right. Well, can you tell us those those groups, please? No. <laughs> send it to us. I will send it to you. I can't tell you. Yes. The top of tell, yeah. Talk send us that, that and then if okay. we have other names we want to throw in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There we yeah. go. That would be great. Yeah. And and what's the maximum number of folks? 20? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Fifteen yeah. to twenty. Great. And that yeah. would work with this. Yes. Yeah, I'll send out the proposed groups to everybody tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And then how how big are each of those groups? The, the same size. 20 again? Uh, they said 15. What are you saying? 15 for each of the five focus groups? It's somewhere between 10 to no more than 20 people. It, it right, okay. we don't we don't need to hit a hard target on the number, but okay. the we'll idea is that those those meetings would be small enough that everyone can participate in the conversation. We could all fit around one table. Okay. And no one's left out. All right. And I'll chime in too. We want to make sure too that we invite enough people that if, if one or two people don't show up or can't make it, we still have a good kind of critical mass of people mm -hmm. participating. We don't just want like two people to show up to these. We want to get a good group. Okay. Anything else? Mr. Berry, if I may, the, the, the other item that we're working on, and I believe you've all had an opportunity to review it, is the survey, the online survey. Mm -hmm. We had some feedback on that. We uh, adjusted a couple of questions and added a couple of questions. Um, so we, we think it's close to where it needs to be. Uh, I'm not sure if you folks want to review what one more time and, and just give us a thumbs up on that before we launch it. Well, I, I reviewed everything in here. All my comments were incorporated, and I'm perfectly happy with the way that was what Mark sent out this morning. I'm also happy yeah. with that one. Very good. Okay. okay. If if you're all comfortable with where it's at, we did develop some promotional flyers and social media posts that um, I can, Rory and I can work with Mark on getting that distributed uh, so we can officially launch it. And I did want to share with everybody that we're actually working with a translation service. So we're going to make this survey available in Spanish. Also. Uh -huh. And I've okay. talked to FHI and they're on board with it. And yeah. Yeah. I do so it would make sense for us to first get that in place and launch them both at the same time. Okay. So there's about a three to five day delay. That's been okay. our experience. Just sharing that with you. So. Yeah, you know, our, our target release date would not be the twentieth. Okay, or today. Today is the twentieth. Today is the <laughs> Our target release date would not be the twenty second. Uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be the first part of next. Well, middle of next week. If we, so I think if we get it out by the end of the month. We're in great shape. Okay. Uh, what Mark? What we will do is we will send you a Microsoft Word version. Okay of the, the survey, it'll be much easier for the translator to use and to translate yeah. with. Okay. Uh, so we'll get that over to you, um, you know, by end of tomorrow. Okay, excellent. And then will town staff take care of the publicity, getting this on social media and getting yes, stuff uh, at the library? Yeah, and all FHI that kind of has put together, so we haven't seen it yet, but they've put together something. Um, and I'm assuming you're using the R, the logo that, we created okay we we are yes we okay. we incorporated that and the same kind of color scheme as well correct okay okay yeah yeah so we'll they'll be sending that to us and our community outreach coordinator clayton will be putting that into the schedule great yep. 
and they've done it for Facebook, well, social media posts, flyer, and then they've also created an image that we can put on the kind of digital image boards. That, mm -hmm. Do they have those at the schools also? Mm -hmm. Oh, they do. So if we wanted to share that with the schools, who would we send that to? Oh, geez, I don't know who the media guy is at the town schools anymore. It's the IT, as far as I know, but I don't know the right. guys. I'm no, not that's, that. uh, I don't remember. Kennedy, is, I think is his last name. Yeah, it's Clint, Clint, Clint Kennedy. Clint Kennedy, Kennedy right. right. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, but not at your school. He is um, right. Right. No. Yeah. Right. Um, if I send it Scott to you. Hill, you could send it to me and I could get it there. Okay. So you have Groton schools cover. And we do yeah, that. Mm -hmm. You should do marine science too. Avery Point, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sacred Heart. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you getting all this great? Because you're going to reach out to them. <laughs> I, sure. I know the student activities guy, Avery Point. I can send it to him. Yeah. And I would definitely get it there. I feel like between us, we could uh, get it around. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. If maybe you could just send it to everybody, then we could yeah. just yeah, get yeah. it to whoever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. I'm not sure if, if um, FHI has anything else for the committee that you wanted to share. And committee Very, members, I think, are set. Yeah, that 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 covers it for us. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here and for um, your patience with us. We appreciate it, and we look okay. forward to seeing your work. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Thank Have you, Frank. Specifically, right. since I was late. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, um, okay. So that takes us to old business town project updates. I'm not sure who. Anybody wants to speak to that, Mr. Hanover? Sure, I guess a um, few of the projects that we've been talking about. Um, let's see. It's, well, it's not really a complete streets project. It does deal with bicycles. The bike pump track down in Depot Road, Parklet, is out to bid now. Those bids will be open next Thursday. We've had quite a few contractors actually reaching out with questions, so there seems to be some interest, oh, okay. which is nice because last time we had one bid. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, let's see. The... Consultant for the Noick Main Street Road Reconstruction Project. They've completed their survey. They did soil borings, and now they're working on the conceptual designs. Uh, once we get to a point um, where we have some nice plans to look at, we'll have them come in you know, and present to this committee for some feedback. Um, some sidewalk projects we have ongoing. Let's see, Route 1 between Bridge Street and Kings Highway. Um, Consultant has completed those plans and they've been submitted to DOT uh, for review. And then the Aquatic Plains sidewalk plans, it runs from the gas station to the entrance to Aquatic Plains. Um, we should be getting those plans from the engineer next week and then we'll review those and they'll be sent off to DOT for review. Uh, so we're hoping that we can get th both those projects out to bid and constructed this summer. Can I ask a question about the Bridge Street to Kings Highway one? Yep. Which side of the street is it, or is it both sides? That's on the west side, which is where, well, it used to be Restaurant 99. Mm -hmm. I think they're not there anymore, but on that side. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> and that's it. Okay. Any other updates? Yeah, I was just going to say we... Last week submitted our application for a recreation trails grant. Uh, this is to continue work that started in 2017 uh, out at the Cop property. Uh, our long term goal is to make the yellow trail, which is just kind of a loop that goes from the parking lot out and then back past the foundations to make that fully accessible. Yes. Uh, and we're working on a section now that would go from where it stops near the entrance out past the dog park to the bridge that was put in and then continuing that work out beyond the bridge. And we've included in that grant application a couple of things, um, a wheelchair that's designed to be used on trails mm -hmm. uh, and also software that is being developed. It's called Soundscape and it's with a visually impaired nice. and they use it like sonar. Uh, as there. So you download this app and it will assist visually impaired folks um, but when they're out walking. And our staff over at Thrive have 
been working with the Connecticut Center, Connecticut Community Center for the Visually Impaired. Uh, we had some of their uh, some of their folks come out and use it on the point planes mm -hmm. and provide feedback to those designing the, the software. So Excellent. we've included both of those things. Those are both eligible costs in the grant. And I, I don't want to jinx myself, but scored really high the first time they ran out of money, uh, encouraged us to apply again, gave us the score sheet so we knew where we had scored well. And so we've focused on those areas. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident that we'll get that grant. Well, best of luck. Thanks. You weren't the only one that she did that for, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> she told me <laughs> I talked to her. She gave it a good story. So. Oh, just to let you know. Her. Just I'm a downer today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So down. Just, just recalibrate. Your, your, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Dial it back, Mark. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah. Did you want to add anything? Uh, just to note, we have um, in our department, we've got a couple of applications in, in the downtown area that will be required to put in 10 foot wide sidewalks, um, similar to what you can see in front of uh, Chelsea Groton. So we're starting that network all through there. Nice. Very cool. Yep. All right. And we are at the end. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I will adjourn. Let's move my old sensor a second. Second. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment? Aye. 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 We are adjourned at 4.08 p.m. Thank you so much. Thank you.